there, it's Karen and it's Fabletics time. What, again? Yes, again. I've got a problem, okay? Don't judge me. So my April Fabletics order has already arrived. They shipped it the same day I ordered it, which was fantastic. I had a credit built up, which I was excited about because April is the month that they have released their longer length inseams. Unfortunately, they only had a couple of varieties. They had a boot cut and a regular legging. I decided to stick with the regular legging until I heard some more feedback about whether it was long enough and I got to see for myself how it fit. If you've never heard of Fabletics, they are a monthly subscription service for workout clothes. It is $50 a month and you can use that to buy an outfit. Their outfits start at $50. You can skip the month between the 1st and the 10th, which is huge because $50 is a lot for workout clothes and you really only need so much. I believe you can make purchases from their site without joining. However, you'd have to be very careful about what boxes you check so you don't accidentally sign up. And it's much more expensive. I'm not sure that these items would necessarily be worth the full cost because you could probably get comparable items elsewhere for about the same. But I'm really excited and I cannot wait, so let me jump right in here. The outfit that I used my $50 credit on was Arabesque, and that came with the Solar legging. I'm currently wearing it, and I'll show you in a minute. The bag didn't have any indication of it being the longer length, so I did panic a little bit, but I took a tape measure to it, and it is the 31 inches it claimed. I was nervous that 31 inches wouldn't be long enough. I'm six feet tall. I usually go for a 34 or more inch inseam, but because of the stretching material, it just works out perfectly. And this is an item I've been wanting for ages. I love the Vasa tank. I have it in a gray and black. And I keep seeing these pictures of the peony ones on Instagram, and it's so bright and cute. I usually just stick with muted colors, but I couldn't, I couldn't resist this one. It has this cute back style that is already a favorite with me, and I like the way that it has the design pattern on the back. It makes it very slimming. Love it. So cute. Super breathable. I work out in my gray one all the time, and I can't wait to wear this one. And just so you know, the full price of this listed is $25. For the leggings that I'm wearing, the full price is $50. So you get $75 for 50 bucks when you sign up for their program. That's a huge difference. It's really nice. I like that. Uh, I like that they're providing cute, fashionable stuff for a fairly good price. The next item I got is a little bit disappointing. It is the Switchback Tee. Full price is $24. I got it for $20. And I thought it was like a sweater. It looks like a heavy material in the pictures. But it's actually very, very, very thin and sheer. Wasn't expecting that at all. It is meant for layering, so I guess I understand that. I just thought it was more sweatery. And I've been really cold. I wanted something cozy. But it is still very cute. It has this sort of like crossover in the back and it actually lays a lot nicer than I thought it would. So I still like it. I'm not going to try to return it or anything like that. Very, very nice. And the last item that I wanted to pick up last month but did not, it's very, very cute. It is the Ula Tank. This one I also ordered independently of an outfit and it was $20 on its own. So I got all four of these items for less than $40, which was fantastic. It was, these two were $19.99 on their own or $95. But this is a lot like the Vasa tank. It has these cute sort of, sorry, Abby is uh, playing with her little eyeball toy. <laughs> it has this cute like pattern down the back that is very flattering. And, oh my goodness. It's so cute. It's so loud. <laughs> and it has these cute lines that I, I suspect will be very flattering down the back. I really like that touch. And it looks nice and long enough even for tall girls like me. And this is pretty cool. Inside the bag, they actually have information on their rewards program and being a member as well as samples. And how do they know that I freaking love samples of things? So that is really cool. This is uh, some John Frieda shampoo and um, looks like a styling product with it as well. And there's a coupon like, yay. And I'm glad they included information on the VIP program because people on Facebook are still a little bit confused sometimes. They'll go to buy an outfit, there's a great introductory offer, it's usually $25 uh, for your first. Like, that's fantastic. 
but people don't realize that they're, they're signing up for the program if they take advantage of the offer. So I'm glad they send this so that when people get their package, they'll be like, oh, hey, what's this? Oh, I signed up for a thing. Glad they're raising awareness on that. So I am going to go try all this fun stuff on. I'm already wearing Fabletics today. My, uh, this is the, I think, Tranquil Tea. I just kind of lounge around in this one on the weekends. It's really, really comfortable. But let me try on my new stuff to show you guys. I'll be right back. So this is the outfit arabesque with the Solar leggings and the Vasa tank. The whole outfit cost $50, which I got in exchange for a credit I had earned on the site. And this is so cute in the back. Check that out. I love these strappy Vasa tanks. So, so cute. I cannot get enough of them, and I hope that they never get rid of that line. They do tend to sell out of items really fast. They're trying to get uh, new stuff in all the time so that their subscribers are always buying new things. So when you do see something you like, you kind of have to jump on it, but they have had these Vasa tanks for a little while now. I'm really happy with the leggings. They don't have the like stylized lines or anything that the lemas that I have from them typically have. So they're really basic. They're good compression. They do have like the hidden generously, generously sized key pocket that I really like. That's perfect. It's not a shiny finish. It's kind of like a matte finish, but good compression and they seem thick enough that they're not see-through at all or anything like that. Definitely pleased with the leggings. So glad I went for it, even though it only said 31 inch inseam. Both of these I purchased in a large. I generally wear a Mrs. Medium or Large, usually Medium, or a Junior's Large. I've been trying to stick with my with Larges for them. I'm not having luck with their Mediums, except for their sports bra, where I need the extra support. So I do go with the Mediums on that. The next item is the Switchback T, and in retrospect, it does say T in the name. So I don't know why I was expecting a sweater material. It is extraordinarily comfortable, very cute, and check this out. How about that? Isn't that freaking adorable? I love it. Not terribly practical. This isn't something that I could work out in. I'll probably lounge in it like I do with my Tranquil Tea, but it's so stinking cute. I love it. I did go with a medium for this. All the reviews say that people were swimming in it, and because it's going to be slippy off the shoulders, wanted to make sure that I didn't have a large. So even though I probably sacrificed a little length, super glad I went with the medium. Go down a size on this one if you're picking it up. And you can see it would be boxy if I went too much larger. So definitely, definitely love this, even if it wasn't exactly what I expected. Allegedly, you can wear the switch back in the front. I think it would look like you're wearing your shirt backwards, but... No, no, I was wrong. It's pretty cute in the front. So it does work either way, depending on how you feel like wearing it. And if you're just going to wear it with a sports bra, you can leave it in the back and be so cute on its own. Last and possibly least interesting for you guys is the Ula Tee. I really like this. It's extremely comfortable. So long, even on me. Love that. Very breathable. And the dark gray color will match every single pair of like leggings and capris that I own. This is really perfect. I like this one a lot. You can find this in an outfit. They've got some beautiful colors this month. This gorgeous Hawaiian blue that's just, oof, fabulous. Definitely recommend this one. Well, that does it for my April Fabletics first impression video. And hopefully this will be it for a couple of months and I will be good and behave and not buy any more workout clothes until I really break in some of this stuff. I will leave a link for Fabletics down below. Just remember that they are a subscription service. Let me know if you have any questions about any of this stuff. And if you already get Fabletics, let me know what you think of them down below. I'm curious to hear other people's opinions on it. As always, thank you so much for watching and have an amazing weekend. Bye.